Hey guys. Hey guys, Inferno here uh, with the first playthrough, episode one of my Uncharted Ocean playthrough. So this is a uh, pirate exploration game by High Rabbit and Loco Joy. And thank you for the key and the legends. So we get straight into the game. I play a little bit just to learn the basics. It's pretty. It's a mobile port on PC. So let's try start with. So each. So you got Spain, Portugal, France, Netherlands, Venice, England. Ottoman Empire and pirates, North African pirates. Uh, initial skills: you get fire ship, raise morale, warship rush, quick repair. That's not bad. Continuous rapid fire, precise strike, firebomb, chain shot. So I think I'm going to go with the Netherlands, because they have Quick Repair. And I'm just going to check if that posted properly. Yes, perfect. Okay. So now I start with Netherlands. You get to select your character, so you don't get too many to choose from. So I'm going to choose this smart looking fellow. I'm going to rename, I'm going to put two names, no, just Inferno. So I get quick repair. Restore 20% durability to all our, of our ship within the area of effect, that's cool. Advanced fog vision, that's pretty good too. Increased fog vision by 50%. Advanced windproofing, oh sweet, well this is pretty good for a ship um, sailing anyway. Can't change the ship because it's the Dutch cog, but I can change the fleet name. Can I put fists of fury? Oh. Can't fit it. Privateers. A loop. All right. And you can't change much here. Navigation, medicine, trade, artillery, force. It's not very high. Cooking, keeper, and knowledge. Okay. Confirm. Upcoming guide. We'll skip. Guide will skip part of the story. So let's do an upcoming guide. Start from the very raw. In the 15th century, most people thought the earth was flat. A legend spoke of dragons at the far corners of the world that guard treasures beyond imagination. That's too fast to read. Ferdinand Magellan, and he was an explorer from Portugal. He believed east of the Spice Islands lay another ocean, and the new continent Columbus discovered could be reached by sailing further east across that ocean. With his adventurous heart and soul, Magdalene set off to be the first man to sail around the world. Shoot for the moon, if you, even if you miss, you'll land among the stars. Nice. This is Lisbon, Captain Magdalene. Finally, we are here. I'm going to see the king, Inferno. Wait for my news before going to the palace. Good luck, Captain Magdalene. Okay, quest update, flee. You must enter a building and tap on talk to trigger a quest. So we'll go to the palace, talk. Magdalene, be quiet. <clears throat> Pulls you to a hidden corner. What happened, Captain? Anything but reassuring. The negotiation didn't go well. The king doesn't want to take any risks, but he also doesn't want us to work with our other countries. He might kill us. Let's go, hurry up. Captain, where do we go next? Seville, Spain. They must have an ambition to take over the world if they're funding Columbus. Gather the sailors and prepare set to set sail. 
Quest updated, Silver of Hope. Alright, so we leave here, we go to the port. We flee this dangerous place at once, so we sail. The amount of sailors will decide a ship's speed, voyage, range, and melee battle power. Auto hire sailors. Balance. And sail. Captain, there are four caravels coming behind us at full speed. These are pirates. They fly the colours of Portugal. Prepare for battle. Let us see what they want first. We are the Royal Portuguese Guard. You are under arrest. Put down your weapons and anchor your ship. We will barrage fire at any sign of suspicious activity. You are babbling too much. Fire! Entering battle. Melee ships. Melee ship sails directly towards the enemy ships for boarding battle. Remote ship will shoot by sidetrack when any enemy is close. I don't know what's below. You can tap the auto attack button after learning tech from a labor union to let ships automatically use skills. You can tap the speed up button after learning tech from a labor union to accelerate battle speed. Drag a friendly warship to move it, drag it to an enemy ship to attack, now drag any warship to start a battle. promoted to level, level 3. Nice. Seems the Portuguese Empire isn't that all that powerful. As if in response, more Portuguese flags appeared on the horizon. It is the Royal Fleet. Looks like we've landed ourselves in deep trouble. Ready the first barrage. Fire! Oh damn. Captain, the hull is seriously damaged, what should we do? The opponent is a lot stronger than us. Everyone be careful, hold on to something. Let's go. Fire the second barrage. The attacks are too frequent, we can't run at all. Let's split up and I'll distract them. How are you going to lead them away? You're going to die. I am only alive because of you, Captain. Consider this repaying my debts. Be careful, Captain. Trinidad's mast takes a direct hit, and Magellan is struck unconscious in the explosion. Doctor! Doctor! The Doctor is dead. We need to take the Captain ashore for healing. Alright, we have to take a leap of faith. Andrew, I will put on the Captain's outfit and lead the enemy westward. You take everyone south. Do you think that will work? Does it look like we have another choice? We have to survive. Captain, they split up. Should we pursue that small ship? If we have enough forces, why not? Divide ships for pursuit. Run away! Looks like our efforts are useless. They are too fast. Worst comes to worst, we will fight them to the death and die honorably. All hands prepare to board the enemy ship for battle. Let's go! Wait until they look. A storm is coming. The rain is heavy, we are saved. What do you mean? We are heading towards the storm instead of fighting to the death with them. I no, don't see a difference. It's better than getting screwed by the navy. Our lives are in your hands now. God, we've lost our mind. Custer, keep it steady, land ho! Oh, narrow escape. The ocean and gentle rocking in the waves was all that was left. Ouch, it hurts. Stop moving around, you have some serious injuries. Of course it hurts. Defender opens his eyes and looks around carefully. This isn't the cabin, where is this? What happened? 
You're in my house. I don't know what happened to you. Ouch, ouch. Can you suck it up? For God's sake, you're a sailor. True. The girl checks your wounds with a tenderness that belies her earlier rebuke. It appears you are recovering. Although I don't know what led you to faint in front of my house, I know I saved both of you. Wait, you said both of us. Who else is here? I'll take that as a thanks. My bad. My name's Inferno and I'm a voyager. Thank you for saving us. That sounds better. I'm Elena. Your friend went to sell goods in the market. He might be in the tavern now. Maybe you should go talk to him. It would give me the chance to clean up a bit. Remember to come back for dinner. Okay, back to square one. Now we've got to go to the tavern. Talk. You're really good at bargaining, young man. Alright, alright. You name the price. You have such a big business that you won't mind the small profit from me. Thank you. Custo, you are alive. Custo gives a start and turns towards the source of the voice. You sound full of energy, as though you hadn't ne just nearly died. You scared the shopkeeper off. Sir, sir, where are you? Come out. We're not thieves. Finley walked over to find that the boss was hiding behind the bar and laughed in embarrassment. Ahem, I have travelled the world. I was not terrified. What are you doing here, Custa? I came out for a walk. Can't stay at the girl's house forever. See you next time. Uh, what happened afterwards? How do we end up here? Custa's face darkens. As you can see, only two of us are left. There was also a tattered ship and water damaged goods. These are all we have. Inferno considers the use silent. Don't worry, maybe the money is enough for us to group, regroup. All is not lost, my friend. You can make a new plan. You mean we can buy another ship? Buy a whole ship? Are you made of money? Well, we got 170,000. That's pretty good. Inferno frowns as his brief moment of hope is lost. There isn't even a shipyard in this town. We'll have to fix up that busted ship in the tavern. We can get a nicer ship later. It's getting late. Let's head back. Elena probably has dinner ready. Mysterious letter. Okay, uh, resident. Let's, uh, is there a journal? There's a log. If you don't know what to do next, come to the quest interface. Quest direct descriptions will tell you which way, which city to go to next, and what to do there. Intelligence contains information about your reputation. Okay. Uh, friendship, etc. Discoveries you acquire will show up here. Items whose exploration reports hadn't been turned in are displayed in green. Here you can view strategy guides, look at items and drop rates. Discoveries, walk through. Hmm. Okay, tasks. So main quest is mysterious letter. Head back to the residence, get ready for dinner. Side quest, none. Treasure hunt, none. Completed. Heaps. Alright. So back to the residence. doesn't smell like food and there's no sound coming from the kitchen. The door is cracked open. You hear the sound of chairs scraping across the floor. Elena, are you at home? Uh, go inside and check. Opens the door and walks in. Elena is tied to a chair, trembling. Inferno rushes over to help her but got ambushed. Inferno is wounded. Idiot! Rude of you to have kept me waiting. Oh, who's this? The main character's equipment determines his attack and defense in a duel. Equip your best weapons and armors in the corresponding item slots for the best chance to win. Jay, come out, come out, and that, and that, oh, in your face. Oh, stab by his own sword. Filthy. Inferno wanted to leave him alive, but accidentally killed him in his fury. How's his sword? Seems he cut too deeply. Whatever, he's dead now. I'll have to search his body. Custer unties the lantern, and Inferno gives the dead man a quick once-over. There's a letter. It says that there is a pirate named Joseph who wants to meet us. If he just wanted to meet us, why make it so complicated? Looks like he has bad intentions. He wants us to meet in the open waters west of Faro. Let's go see what he wants. Okay. So, let's go to port. And bear. And sail. Bounce. Sail. 
supplies are made up of food and water and determine how many days you can remain at sea. Where's supplies? There. 11 of 21. When your supplies run out, sailors will start to die. When ship durability reaches zero, the game is over. When the number of sailors reaches zero, the game is over. The ship will stop when you tap throw anchor, but other ships will keep moving and time will continue. Tap on the hull to pause the game. Everything will stop. Okay. Right. Right, let's go get this. What's this? Got nothing. Here's the appointed place. <coughs> I do not see any ships around. Keep alert. Three hours later? No one showed up. Something's wrong. What time did the letter say? It did not mention time. We don't have a clock. Doesn't it feel like we are being led on wild goose chase? Yes. The letter is strange, but its carrier went to great lengths to deliver it. Let's wait a bit more. Maybe they were delayed by dolphins? The ship's sail can be seen fluttering in the distance. Oh man. Is that Inferno of the Magellan fleet? Who else will wait for you so long? Sorry, I kind of got lost at sea. That happens. It seems you have received my letter. I am Captain Joseph, a pirate. Good to meet you. A pirate's so polite and civilized now. I think Captain Joseph did not just send a letter. Custer's curt words put an end to the frivolous scary things and cut straight to the point. Oh, of course, I didn't shut my hand to kill you, all. kill you all if you could. It seems that he was not up to the task after all. How could you be sure that, he, that we would make the appointment? Can we write the exact time next time? Why are you so interested in us? Don't you know? Some people are very concerned about your life. Captain Magellan, Dutch cog captain of Inferno. Cog captain? The bounty for both of you is really high. Even if you hadn't come, I think many people are searching hard for you right now. I might even consider myself among them. Is that gold? Yeah, it's gold. <clears throat> all these words and orders to fight you after all along. All hands, ready for battle. Oh, crap. Alright. Oh, crap, hold up. I'm gonna die now. Yep. Uh, really? These guys are too strong. Keep at them. We have. Oh. I was wondering what that foul stench was. Imagine my displeasure at finding you here. Who are you? How dare you interrupt my business? A woman? The Spanish Fred Ross. Hell yes! I thought it was game over. <clears throat> you there? Are you Inferno? Am I so famous now? Yes. I advise you to quickly clear out of that area. Fire! Alright. After the indiscriminate bombardment, Joseph's ships are obliterated. There seems to be a chest over there, do you want to look inside it? Of course not. Inferno salvages the chest and opens it. Treasure map, other loot. Before long, the Spanish fleet comes upon it. Thank you for your help. Is your way of thinking to you agree? Don't be that way, I'm just helping you sort out the trophies. And I should say thanks to you. Good luck. Oh, didn't get the treasure map. <clears throat> Alright, unexpected gains and inquire messages. So, journal. <clears throat> Inferno was too busy dealing with the pirates and forgot to visit Miss Elena. Go to Far Pharaoh's residence to see the young lady. Go to the port and swipe right on the screen to enter into the house. Inquire message. Before the Spanish fleet left, you vaguely heard their plans to go to Gaijon. Out of gratitude to the fleet and curiosity of the treasure map, you decided to see if there's any chance to help them before going back to fight. So what do you have to do? Tracking. Oh. Automatic route finding. That's cool. Hey, 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 get that. Yes. Yeah, how do I turn that back on? That's cool. Um, turn. Do I want to go there? This one? No.
the supplies have been cut in half, please return to something. I should probably go here. Crew promoted. Bloody hell. Okay. Uh, Go to the market. You can buy items in markets and make a profit on the price between different cities. Uh, you can buy into the market. Yep. Okay. But I need supply. Buy. How do I know what supplies are? What do we have to sell? Nothing to be sold. Best officers cannot be created by money alone. We need to meet the individual requirements. Right. Sailors, maybe. Hiring the minimum amount of sailors required will let you sail the longest number of days. During your voyages, you will encounter disasters that lower your sail account, reducing your speed. Balance will help avoid these situations. Hiring the maximum amount of sailors will help reduce your time at sea, but provide the highest melee battle power. Okay, well, what's in the workshop? Equipment. Tap here to change weapons. If you have weapons, you can change them here. Tap for weapon to view or removed. Nothing. Sail. Nothing. Talk. You have to find the right blueprints if you want to build the strongest artillery, or I can't help you. Okay. Bank. Okay, <clears throat> let's go to port, repair, that's all good. Got sailors, speed, repair all, I think. Auto supply, oh. Food and fresh water is what I need. Sail. Okay. I reckon this will go back to that first mission because we're getting a bit off track. <clears throat> what was that? What's that? Go back. What's that? It may be encountered at any time and will greatly reduce the speed of sailing. The crewman would, with the skill of detour can prevent the effect. Huh. It's my loot, my loot, Mitchell. Mitchell. I know. Leaking. It may happen in rainy and stormy days. Repair, reducing durability and speed of the ship. Carpenter tools can restore the durability of some. Shit balls. Let's go to this one. It's scary. Confirm. Uh, port. Repair. All. Confirm. Man, running out of money fast. Sail. Frustrated pirate shit. Don't come near me. Don't come near me. Okay. Residence. Talk. I'm glad you could return safely. They were no match for us. Maybe you shouldn't tell tall tales. Could you not embarrass me in front of the ladies? Oh right, well Inferno is absolutely the best. No doubt you guys are. By the way, I've got some news about Captain Maglin. Is he okay? Well, from what I heard, he was seriously injured. 
captain who specialises in selling medicinal herbs said that Captain Magellan had shown up near Bordeaux. So he went north. Does that mean that he escaped from Portugal? Even so, he must be careful. We are all on the wanted warrants. I think Pirate Joseph will not be the last bounty hunter we meet. It seems that we need to make more money to upgrade our strength. Indeed, if we go looking for trouble in our current state, I am afraid we would be destroyed before finding the captain. That is right, all of the crew are new, to, new on the ship except us. We have to handle everything ourselves because we don't have a specialist in charge of management or logistics anymore. We are complete rookies now. This is annoying. We have to get all the problems solved before we go to Bordeaux. Do you remember the merchant you met when passing by Porto? You mean Mr. Fleming? Right, him. I made many deals with him before, and we are pretty good friends now. He is a sophisticated, reliable merchant and experienced sailor. We can go visit him. Surely we can, but, but we are wanted men now. Be, better be careful. Luckily, Porto is not too far. Set sail for Porto. Okay, it said visit merchant. Lacking funds and sailing experience, Inferno decides to go to the residential houses of Porto to find the businessman Fleming to ask him ask for some sailing wisdom and see if he can score a business deal to increase his strength. Okay. Alright, let's use the old tracking. I want that first. Yoink. I got wood. <coughs> Got a new title on recruit. Sweet. What's this? Uh -huh. Confirm. Porto, here we go. Enter. Alright, promotion. Uh, I think it said to go to residence. Talk. Hello, Mr. Fleming. Hello, what can I do for you? Have you business with me? <clears throat> Inferno and Custer take off their disguises and continue speaking in hushed tones. We've got the disguise on. <clears throat> we are Inferno and Custer from the Magellan Feet. Fleet? Ahem, follow me. Fleming glances around and, satisfied that no one's watching, leads the sailors into a small room. Sorry for the poor accommodations, you two are wanted men, so I have to be careful. We are just glad that you did not have someone here waiting to arrest us. Of course I would not. I have known Captain Magellan for many years. But you really have courage to appear here. The whole city knows what you, that you are wanted. Even when I go for dinner, I can see these people looking for you. We have no choice. Inferno tells Fleming about the state of Captain Magellan, leaving out the details of his whereabouts, just in case. Having informed him that they are still looking for the captain, Inferno and Custer arrive at the goal of their visiting, to consult him on conducting successful business on the sea. In this case, did you come from Pharaoh? Yes. Did you have any trouble during the voyage, like rats, disease, etc? Uh, it was hard to get here. Let's say that. Uh, really reckless, thanks. When sailing on the sea, you will often encounter unexpected situations such as rat disasters, diseases, fires, etc. So you will need items to deal with them. I'll give you a list. Now go to the item shop and buy five of each before you can come back to me, okay? Alright. Uh, emergency tools. In order to deal with that, go to the tool shop to buy five each of the fire extinguishing sand, rat poison, plague medicine, lime juice, musical instrument, and lemon, okay? Uh, did he say market? I think he said market. Buy. Maybe not. Tool shop. Idiot. Tool shop, tool shop, tool shop, tool shop, tool shop. Workshop. A sale. Hmm. That's a tool shop. Prop shop. Here we go. So we need. Let's hang on. 
fire extinguishing sand, rat poison, plague medicine, lime juice, musical instrument, and lemon. So fire extinguishing sand, rat poison, plague medicine. Sand, rat poison. Okay, I forgot already. Journal. Okay, plague medicine, lime juice, musical instrument, lemon. I assume that's the plague one. Lime juice. Musical instrument. Lemon. We need. Oh, how much money have we got? That much. I need carpenter tools because I know we had some issues with that. Oh, this is so, Whoops. It can salvage treasures on the seabed, some of which cannot be found at the sea surface. Telescope. Spare sail. The thing was to deal with seaweed. Can't remember. Fishing tackle. Use that sea to catch some fish as emergency food. Salvage net. Yeah. Mahogany. Carpenter tools. Bucket. Yeah. Alright. That's what the quest says. Ready? Yes, ready. Good. These are the basic emergency items. Whenever there is a situation, a button will pop up on the left, lower left of the screen. With a tap, you can use the items directly. Here, take these. This is also an emergency item, especially important when you encounter a storm on the sea. However, when storms come, you'd better roll up the sails to find a nearby sea to dock at. And you said you wanted to start a business, but you must be short on money. Well, I am basically starting from scratch. I happen to run a procurement business here. I will tell you the location where you can salvage an item, and once you bring it to me, I will pay you along with a bonus. Thank you very much, Mr. Fleming. Alright, salvaging. Pick up an item from 156-235. Let's do this. So, where do I see map coordinates? To tap the map to control your ship's destination. Come on, give it a try. Oh, hang on. Uh, oh, that's close. 155, 234. It's close, let's do it. Uh, 156, 234. Crap. Not again. Yes, it's our old friend the storm. Yep, this old friend's timing could not be worse. Last time we escaped thanks to the storm, but this time our luck has run out. We can't find anything in these conditions, we have no choice but to head back for now. Alright, let's get the sailors to roll up the sails. The roll up sail signs in the lower left, lower right of the screen, then head back. Hey, what are you afraid of? The deck is this one. Done. Turn around, go back. Disgrace will return. Okay. Still need to go back. Uh, what's that one? Um, one fifty. So we're here. Let's go over here. Uh, so we need, <coughs> what was that, coordinates? Oh, when Fenner was helpless in the face of the storm, unable to continue searching, he had to return to find Fleming. Failing the sails will cause a slowdown, oh crap, but it will prevent most of the damage from the storm. If the sail or hull is damaged, repair it with the corresponding tool. 
Okay, let's go back. Sorry, we failed. Did you run into a storm? How did you know? I guessed. The weather in that area is utterly strange. That small patch of sea has storms year round, so I thought if you failed, it must have been due to that. The storm was terrible. Well, in your line of work, it is common to sail through such high risk zones, but I believe after this you have become more experienced. That's right. Next time we set off, we will surely complete this quest. Never mind that. Don't waste any more time here. Meg Meglin is still injured. It is time for you to leave. Take your reward too. Uh, but we haven't earned it. <clears throat> 50,000 gold! It's alright, just remember to spare some time to help me with my business in the future. Think of it as my investment. I will save the words of gratitude, but I'll always remember your kindness. Seek Magellan. Okay. With the help of Fleming, Inferno is ready to look for Magellan. According to Elena's confirmation, Captain Magellan probably fled to Bordeaux. First, go along the coastline to the north and try to pry out some information from the residents there. You may encounter dual challenges. It is recommended to complete the side quest first and use the equipment obtained there. Alright. Let's set sail. 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 And then... Side quest. Boom. So we're looking for Bordeaux. <coughs> nice. Hey, this is Guy John. This is where we need to be. Enter. Confirm. Alright. Uh, help them before going back to Faro to visit. See a familiar figure. 20,000 gold! Haven't we met? Don't you think your flirts are very old-fashioned? Nope. Wait, I know. You're the fierce girl from the sea. No, 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 no. Not fierce. Maybe a bit. The girls are livid by this point. I really don't know how to talk to girls. Wait a minute. You are Inferno from the Wanted Posters. I do happen to be short of money recently. On second thought, maybe you don't remember me. How about we make a deal? You help me find something, and I won't turn you in. That is the way you ask for help. Want me to get my sabre? Okay, okay, you'd have a deal. Well, if we're going to be doing business, can I at least know your name? My name is Sally. You have to keep it secret, otherwise you know what could happen. I understand, I would never dare to cross you with Sally. So, what are we looking for? Remember the treasure map from the broken ship? Yes, I remember. Have you found the location? It should be just in front of the south coast of the Bay of Biscay. If you can help me, I can reward you with something. You know what? That sounds really nice. But shouldn't you bring your crew along, only yourself? This is a personal task. I can accomplish nothing with them. What else can I say? Let's go get that treasure. Wait a minute. Look at you. You don't even have decent equipment. Can't be seen with you like this. Here, take this equipment and remember to put it on before you leave. Uh, thank you. 20,000 gold again. Sick. Alright, so I think we... get gear from quests, naval battles and tool shops. Gear increases battle power and can be sold for gold at tool shops. Uh -huh. Once equipped, gear cannot be removed. That's interesting. An icon will appear indicating the gear has been equipped. Huh. Oh. Oh. Ah, oh, the game crashed. That better have saved. Stand by. Let's log him back in.
few. Okay, so on the 22nd of Jan, this one. Oh man, where are we? Ah, uh, sun over be arch. Sail. Sail. Journal. Inquire. Train. Son of a bee's whistle. Right, how do we save this Movoga? Save. Boom. Right, residence. Let's skip through all that again. <sighs> Dagger and Pirate Shirt. Okay, did I stuff it up somehow? To replay Sally, sa saving his life, Inferno decided to help her go to the south shore of Biscay to hunt for treasure. In order to not to annoy her, he'd better wear the weapons and armor she gave him. Slip the weapon you want to equip and ask for the treasure. Get it, get it, get it. Do you just get it for going there? Yep. There it is. Cool. It should be. That's cool. It should be here. Is this the part where we begin to dig for treasure? Do you know how to dig? Uh, tap explore to start digging. Each exploration site consists of many blocks like this. Tap on one of them to dig out the treasure. Of course, each tap will reduce your fatigue, and fatigue will only recover by drinking in the tap. Fair enough. In addition, there are stones that need to be smashed two or three times. You need to use the pickaxe to break the rock. When you dig out something, just tap on it to take it. But if your scholar can't identify what it is, you can't take it. Don't ask why, you just can't. So when you have enough knowledge, you can come back to take it. You are so verbose. Is this what you're looking for? Hey, it was so easily for you to find. Did I do it? But I'm not interested in any other tattoos. I'll leave this place to you. Bye. Uh, explore. <clears throat> Ruins can contain materials for building ships, but consume fatigue. Fatigue can only be recovered by drinking. Okay. <clears throat> After opening a brick, you need to manually pick up the item inside and go to the palace to enter the exploration report. You will officially obtain the item once it has been identified. After opening a brick, you need to manually pick up the item. Yep. Treasure you dig up can only be used for quests or acquired as items after submitting an exploration report at the palace and being identified. Right. Oh, I see. Uh, please use the spade. Spades. Oh, I've got one. Alright, 
that, so I'm going to go to a tavern. So how do I go to a tap? Fresh? Oh So fatigue is good. Alright. So before we go and do it, have a wait, let's check the quests. Oh. We did it. Okay. What do you want to know, buddy? I want to find somebody. <clears throat> Let me guess. You're looking for Magellan. How do you know? Let's just say you aren't the first one with that request. Seems we need to find him as soon as possible. Don't worry, I've been tight-lipped, and I think I will not tell anyone else but you about these whereabouts. Why? He has been kind to me, and you are the only one I trust to not harm him. Because I'm the one that wants a poster as well. I believe you would not hunt yourself. Thank you for trusting me. Can you tell me the current whereabouts of my captain? Hey, I am very principled. 20,000 gold for the invasions, same price for everyone. That's the guy grabbing. Oh, son of a bitch. Run, I'll deal with them, boss. That guy ran away. Oh, crap. Get off that. That didn't count. We will see each other again. Count on it. I totally counted. Bring it on. I'll be sure to make the lesson stick next time. Damn, we were so close to picking up the trail. Chin up, I managed to learn something before we were rudely interrupted. The captain is in Nantes, but he is grievously injured. Then we must hurry. These people will find him sooner or later. Okay. So. Let's go to Nantes track. There it is. <clears throat> now, let's check out dashboard. Forty-eight minutes. Okay, we'll do a little bit longer. To residence talk. Young man. Yes. What can I do for you? I have nothing to eat at home, and my legs are not strong. There is no one else in our room to help me. Could you please help me to buy 99 sausages from the market? Of course, please just sit here and wait for me to come back. Market. Buy. Sausage. Oh, there's only 56. Oh. Sell. Got sausages. How do I clean up the bloody. The old man hopes that your friend can bring him 99 sausages from the market. What the? <laughs> Alright. Uh, shipyard. Sale. Reinforce hull. Dutch cog. No. Build. Be. Fit. No. Prop strop sell. Ah, <coughs> uh, okay. 
probably need all that, but let's just get rid of some. Let's get rid of 20 of those. And let's get rid of 20 of those. That was 40 things. Let's see if we can get more sausages now. Sausage? How many have I got? Hang on. Sell. I've got... I have no idea. I have 56. So I need... 43. Ah. Oh. Cargo space, what is this? Um, <laughs> cargo space, how do I check? You can select fashion market in the market of any port to get the latest fashion info at the cost of some gold. Buy fashion in the case of a discounted purchase price. Sell fashion in case fashion that can be sold for a high price. Fashion news is available every year between May and October. Take advantage of it to get the most out of your trades. There is also tech that waves off the fashion info fees. <laughs> Crazy, what do you do? Well...
Welcome, what are you having? Are you... Hush, come over here. Isn't the tavern too high profile to use this cover? You'd think so, but it's actually rather secure, as well as a good information hub. How is the captain's injury and where is he? We moved into the suburb so he could recover. He has a serious injury and has been in a coma. Wars are everywhere and doctors have been taken to the front lines. We are short of your hands here. We need to find a doctor to treat the captain as soon as possible. I think I know where to find a doctor. Do you mean the English bishop? He is an old friend of the captain. I think he will help. But they are at war. How do you plan to bring the bishop of a hostile country to French territory? Who knows? Let's go see him first. Uh -huh. You can go north to reach Plymouth. East to Dover, north again to London, or go north to Calais and then to Dover and London. You are Inferno, aren't you? What are you doing here? I think you may have heard what happened to the captain. It seems that he is really in danger. Yes, we hope we can save him. Of course, where is he now? This isn't the best place to talk. I will explain to you on the way. Serious? Back to Nantes? Return to Bishop quickly with the Nantes. In case you encounter France's border guard on the way, you could obtain a pass from a contact in Hamburg to the east. It's recommended to visit Hamburg first, if the fleet is lacking firepower. Okay, let's go to Hamburg then.
Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Hit this me down. Oh god. Piss off, German patrol fleet. Good. So it said, uh, I don't know what it said, residence, here for the pass, what, French water pass, perfect emergency value discretion, how much is it, 200,000, confuse, oh crap, well, I've got it, alright, let's do it, oh hang on, let's save it. So we're going to go to Nantes. Insufficient supply. Damn it. Ah, oh, crap. Escape. Confirm. Ah, oh, escaped. Hell yeah.
all the security. It seems they are checking the ships. That's okay, we don't have any contraband. Wait, wait, we seem to have an English bishop on our ship. Since the English and French are at war, I don't think they will let them through. What should we do? Do not act rashly. Let's turn around and see if we can find another way. Hey, the ship in front. The French coast guards sail closer. How do I use my item? Where are you going? Something wrong? Do have a permit? We're right here. This is our permit. Well, you can go. Just like that. Nice check your ship. Nope. Let's go. Good, good, good. I'm glad I got that. Nice, treasure hunter novice, boo yeah. Steve, Steve, Steve. serious. Thank you so much for coming here in these difficult times. I feel, I feel bad to trouble you. Don't mention it. With all the French doctors on the front lines, I wasn't just going to let you die. How does it look, Bishop? It has been a while since he got injured and the wound has become infected. What should I do? It is imperative to do the surgery as soon as possible, but now is the, there's a shortage of anesthetics. You tell me where to find it and I'll get it for you. I know a businessman named Rudolf in Amsterdam. He may have some. God damn, we just ran past there. This person is not easy to deal with. You might need to get clever. Ah, oh, I don't know how to clear my inventory. Okay, we're going to Amsterdam, so I'm going to do that, and I might save it at Amsterdam and finish this playthrough, episode 1 here, so I can play another game before I go to bed. I'm so glad it's automatic crew fighting. Do I get it? Do I get it? Do I get it? Ah, oh, not close enough. leave it there. Let's, yeah, go back to there. Okay. Let's save. Continue. 
Okay, well, that was my first playthrough, proper playthrough of Uncharted Ocean. Not too bad, pretty simple. It's a mobile game after all, but um, kind of reminds me of a game called Voyage Century Online, I think it was. This is way back, 2007 ish. But uh, that one was a little bit more free, free for all, open world. This one's, well, this one's the same as well. This has got good, good features. But having fun, and I will continue during the week playing some more of this. Uh, but for now, I'm going to have a quick break and then play a different game, and then come back another day. So thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.